This is a Minecraft swamp. This is also a very poor rendition of what a swamp actually looks like in real life. And to be honest with you, I never really considered it until the recent Minecon where we were voting on what biome to update next. And of course, Mountains won, but it left me wondering, what could I do to a swamp with blocks that we already have in the game to make this thing look like an actual swamp. Also, I just want to mention here at the beginning of the video that we're not going to be making a mangrove swamp, which is what they were suggesting at Minecon. Instead, we're going to be making a cypress swamp. That's because I'm from Louisiana and cypress swamps are things that I'm more familiar with, whereas a mangrove tree inside of Minecraft, well, that would be very difficult. Here's a picture of a mangrove tree. This would be very, very ugly if we tried to make this inside of Minecraft with our current blocks. I mean, that's not to mention also that mangrove swamps are so dense that it's almost impossible to get through some of them, especially with a boat. So I don't really know what they were thinking with that, but nevertheless, let's get started. So first and foremost, let's actually talk about the land. There's not really going to be a ton of land inside of a swamp. That's because the land that is here is known as wetland. So most of the swamp is actually going to look something a bit like this. You're going to have your high points in which you can probably get out but even those points are going to be mostly mud. They're going to be very, very squishy, not something that you can really walk on a ton. And things like this where you have a ton of really high ground, well, that's not really in line with what a swamp is. A swamp is literally low ground. It, it's wetland for a reason. Having something that's so high above sea level like this yeah, that, that doesn't really make a ton of sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this section here that is low to the ground and I'm going to rework this and we're going to get rid of all of this grass. This is not your backyard. This is a swamp, which means it's going to be muddy. It's going to be nasty. It's not going to be a place that's exactly inviting. In fact, I'm not going to lie, this podsole is probably the closest texture to what the uh, ground looks like in real life. It's literally mud and leaves. <laughs> that is what swamp ground looks like. But if I was to just cover this area in podsole, it wouldn't look very good. So we're going to mix in some uh, regular coarse dirt and such as well. So, <laughs> but yeah, podsole much, much closer to what you're actually going to get. In fact, even concrete powder is kind of close. That's going to represent some mud for us as well. And that is already a better looking wetland than what we started with here. Very, very brown colors, very muddy looking. Also have some of the pod soil in, so it looks like all of the leaves have been falling into the mud and getting stuck there. This is looking much better and much more like a swamp than something like this. This doesn't look like a swamp at all. So next up, let's talk about trees inside of a swamp. Um, oak trees, yeah, I guess technically they do exist in a swamp sometimes, but they're not exactly the most common type of tree. In fact, a mangrove or a cypress or something like that is much more common than an oak tree. Now, an oak tree does still exist in the swamp, but... Every single tree being an oak tree? Yeah, I'm not about it there, chief. <laughs> We're going to have to remove some of these and get ourselves in some custom trees. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and mim mimic a cypress tree. And we're going to use some spruce logs in order to do that. So I am not the best custom tree maker, nor would I ever claim to be, but... I do have to say that this is much closer to something that you would see in the swamp compared to something like this. <laughs> the next thing that I want to do is actually add in some moss. Now, we don't really have moss in Minecraft, especially not moss like what you would see on a cypress tree. So what I'm going to use instead is some cobwebs. And we're basically just going to go every now and then and just place this 
hanging down throughout our tree. And this is very common inside of swamps, but uh, yeah, if they were to just add something small like this to swamps in Minecraft, it's a lot more realistic already. Something that I've realized over the course of making this video is, uh, I really need to practice my custom trees. I am not very good at them. But one thing that I did want to point out is down here at the bottom, you'll notice that I'm using some fence posts on top of some of these logs. And that is to try and mimic what is known as cypress knees. Cypress knees are at the bottom of a cypress tree and it's where the roots of the tree kind of poke through the marsh and you can see these knees sticking up, which is one of the reasons that boats inside of a swamp doesn't really make a lot of sense. And I guess I mean more like wood boats because uh, there are metal boats called bateaus that are able to go into the swamp pretty easily. But uh, yeah, a, a, a wooden boat would be destroyed <laughs> on those cypress knees that are found in a swamp. Oh man, that is looking so much better already. I mean, my custom trees could probably use some work, but overall, this is looking much more like a swamp because we have a bunch of cypress trees in and we also have some mud in. This is looking much more like my backyard than I'd like to admit. The next thing that Minecraft gets wrong with swamps is this. The lily pads. Lily pads don't exactly just spawn way out in the middle of a lake. They, they don't exist that way naturally. Uh, yes, I do realize I just said spawn whenever I was talking about the real world. They don't grow in the middle of lakes naturally. They actually tend to stay closer toward the edge of an area. So they'll be very close to the shoreline and likely in huge groups in big patches like that. Kind of like how you would do a wheat field in Minecraft, but instead with lily pads. Also, something else everyone was super excited about with the swamp update was the chest boats. And I hate to burst your bubbles, ladies and gentlemen, but a wooden boat in a swamp probably won't make it out. It's likely going to be like our friend over here and end up sunken. <laughs> what we're going to need is something that is metal or fiberglass, something that is a little bit more durable. So I'm going to try my best at constructing a bateau. This is going to get horrible because I already suck at making boats in Minecraft. You know what? I changed my mind. I think I'm going to go for more along the lines of an airboat than uh, just your typical <laughs> boat that you would see because... I think this will be a little bit funnier. I mean, since I suck at making boats in Minecraft, I might as well j just have a bit of fun with it. Does that look like an airboat? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, seeing any type of boat in uh, white in Minecraft doesn't exactly look the best. <laughs> There's not a lot of metal textures in Minecraft. Maybe we should uh, get that in an update pretty soon as well. Let's get some seats and, I don't know, a steering wheel or something on this thing. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is our airboat. As you can see, it has a ton of features. It has a, a, a big fan here at the back that blows air and pushes the boat forward. And then we have the hull of the boat, which has a lot of depth of uh, one trap door in depth. And then we have some seating for our uh, pilot and our guest. And then right here, we have ourselves a steering wheel that, for whatever reason, is, is wood. I just wanted a different color, I'm not going to lie, because this thing looks like garbage. We need more metal textures in Minecraft. Then maybe this thing wouldn't look so bad, but... Oh, who am I kidding? I suck at making boats. There, There's your airboat. Now let's talk about life in a swamp, because what is it to have a swamp biome if you don't have interesting creatures inside of the swamp? And that is where Minecraft is really, really lacking. In fact, there's really only two things in Minecraft that you would probably commonly find in a swamp, and that is bats, which are mostly nocturnal, so you're not going to see them very often, but they do indeed 
happen to be in the swamp very readily. Another thing is turtles. Not really sea turtles, but turtles themselves find themselves in swamps quite often. There are a ridiculous amount of turtles in swamps. Other than that, the things that swamps are known for having a ton of, we don't really see in Minecraft. They have a lot of aquatic birds. They have a lot of different types of fish. They also have alligators, snakes, and things like that that we don't have in Minecraft. So for right now, turtles? Turtles are cool, I guess, and bats are cool. I guess you could kind of play off some cod as like being bass or brim or something like that but i mean it's it's obvious that it's it's named cod it, it's definitely not any of the fish that are commonly found in swamp yeah the, we we really need like a sackle or a white perch or bass or something like that added into minecraft i think that would just be really cool to have show up here in the swamp biomes also gators gators would be really cool and and snakes and Man, there's so much potential with the swamp. There's so many cool creatures that could be added. Yeah, I'm excited. Why didn't we get a swamp update, by the way? I would have loved to have an airboat in Minecraft. I mean, check this thing out. This thing's got... got... Speed. It doesn't have style. I was going to say style, but it definitely doesn't have style. It's mostly got speed. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for me today. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as well as leave a like if you enjoyed this video. This was a really fun one to make because I am from Louisiana, so I see swamps all the time and they're not really represented quite how they exist in real life inside of Minecraft. But anyway, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. You guys have a great day.